to think about it. It's the Scourge, Director Tan. Its origin is called... High Rider. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tvesa, freelance fit maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope, rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. You were great. I'll get to work editing. Cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities battle. 
multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is HNS. What's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. He probably said, she'll live. I went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times has he yelled at me so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? There's been some... complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. Damn. Well, we knew it could get rough. Dad will find us a place to live. Yeah. I'm sure he will. And I should be there helping you guys do it. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. As soon as I'm up, I'm helping you and Dad find home. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. word or two for you. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead and will all soon follow. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. Half 
find a thief. Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, and then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sisters mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you'd told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. 
I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay. I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything. Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM, simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. What did you mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, 
who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, my own evolution was shaped by your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community.